Hey guys, so next up we're going to be taking a look at the Legacy United Robots in Disguise 2001 Universe Autobot Sideburn. More R.I.D. representation is always a good idea in my book, especially now that we've got a relevant Autobot and not like Toe Line. But, says that right there, Legacy United, Transformers, Sideburn's Vehicle Mode, Sideburn's Robot Mode, Sideburn, Sideburn on the back, blah blah, half the Legacy United image. There you go. Here is Sideburn. Now, Sideburn is a retool of Shadow Striker, who was a pre-tool of this. So, personally, from what I'm gathering, the mold was made for Sideburn, but they released it as Shadow Striker first. We would buy the new mold and then release it as the character it's supposed to be later on type of thing. Just like what they're doing with, like, Sentinel Prime from Titan's Return and, like, Shadow, uh, Sky Shadow and all that. Release the repaint first, then release the figure it's meant to be. So, that said, um, he is not a Dodge Viper. <laughs> this is not a Dodge Viper. Whatsoever. It's not a bad looking car mode or anything, but this is not what Sideburn was. I don't have my original Sideburn with me. Um, it's in storage right now, but this is not what Sideburn was. There you go. He could store his gun up top. That's neat. You can't really store it anywhere else. I mean, you can kind of store it back there. I mean, you could put it down there. He won't drive anymore, but you can. He's a pig there, and we'll, we'll get to that when we get to robot mode, but... I'm hoping, now that they've made him, we get Prowl and X-Brawn at some point, too. Because it'd be weird to only get him. But since Omega Prime's coming out, um... They all have to... They all work with Ultra Magnus, so... <coughs> I'm hoping we get X-Brawn and Prowl at the very least. Even if we get no other R.I.D. characters. If we just get X-Brawn and Prowl and Sideburn with Omega Prime, that'd be perfect. But, anyway... To transform him, we're going to take this piece off. We're going to open these doors. Move this up. I'll talk about that in a minute. Get these up. Then we're going to flip this piece up like that. And that will allow you to disconnect his legs. Flip the feet out. Flip this down. And flip all of that up. Fold these arms back. And then collapse it onto itself. And then I just kind of straighten the shield out like that. And there you go. There are side running in his robot mode. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wasn't this piece on his shoulder in the original show? Yes, it was. He has these two slots right here. That serve absolutely no purpose because they're too short to plug in there. So if you could actually just plug that in there, you have a pretty dead ringer of what Cyburn's supposed to be, but it just doesn't tab, so you're supposed to plug it into his arm. I'm hoping a third-party company at least adds a piece that goes there. DNA, maybe, and I might buy it. But he looks pretty faithful to Cyburn. And his transformation isn't where near as frustrating as the original Cyburn, though I never thought the original Cyburn was as frustrating as a lot of other people seem to. That's just me. I transformed without the instructions when I was like nine, so you know, there you go. Um, articulation was, his head is on a full 360, can look up and down a little bit, waist swivel, legs can go forward, back, knee joint, ankle pivot, some toe, forward, back, in and out. I might have already said that. His arms are weird. They're kind of like Armada Megatrons. It's like, so they can go forward, turn, down, they can bicep up here, elbow. He's got a wrist. But now if you go, if you move the arm out and then go in, it can't go down, so you have to turn it again. It's, the way he transforms, it makes sense, but it's still a little on the strange side. Now, accessory-wise, he does have a gun, which he also can use as a handheld weapon. If you have a, a blast effect, it makes a really cool looking lightsaber. Um, but the way I do it is I plug the gun into his hand, 
that I plug this piece in, and it resembles the crossbow the original version had. And then this is technically a separate piece. But once you get it into the arm, there's literally no reason to take it off, especially because that's part of his character design. And it is on a friction hinge, so keep that in mind. But I do like him. Um, he's pretty decent. I'm a little... Um, I'm just happy we have some R.I.D. representation, finally. I've been wanting new R.I.D. figures forever. Because that was the first uh, vehicle-based Transformer show I saw. Because I grew up on Beast Wars. So when I saw this out, I was like, oh, Autobots, not Maximals, what? And I know it's not the best show, but it was a big part of my childhood. I had the whole toy line. And getting more figures of that is really cool to me. So, I know we're due for a Skybite next year. Um, I'm really hoping we get x and Prowl. I'm hoping that Aslab after Omega Prime is either Megatron or Rail Racer. We'll see. Because Omega Prime did really well, so you know they're going to stick on R.I.D. for a minute. And yeah, I like Cyburn. Um... I don't know if I'm going to pick up Shadow Striker because I deliberately ignored Shadow Striker waiting for Sideburn because once I saw Shadow Striker, I was like, yeah, that's Sideburn. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But yeah, if you like the character, if you like the R.I.D., definitely pick this one up. I think he's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it a little bit and stick around for more. Take care.